Here is why every New Year fitness resolution fails. At least 99.9% .9 of uh, New Year fitness resolution fails. Here's why almost every New Year fitness resolutions are hard to maintain are one, you are not driven by uh, your conviction. You are driven because you feel as if it is a new year and you need to make a change. The, com the real conviction is not there. You're just going with the flow and the flow is the new year. The fact that it is a new year, you feel as if you have to make a resolution. So therefore you're lacking the condition, the drive. Okay. I I'm just here to, the second reason why uh, every new year fitness resolution fails is because, uh, you're doing it under peer pressure. You're doing it because others have uh, their, uh, new year resolution, their fitness new year resolution. So therefore you feel as if you need to join, uh, them so you can feel <laughs> a sense of achievement. Okay. So, um, it is the wrong way to go about it and you're going to fail. The other reason is that you haven't built the inner confidence. The inner confidence is missing, is lacking. You don't have that in you. You don't have that. You're just saying it just to feel good about yourself. And you're going to fail at this. Oh, the other reason is that you lack commitment. You don't even know what commitment is like. You don't know what fitness commitment is like. You like that commitment. You don't have it. You don't have it because of where you're coming from. You're coming from a place where, um, you know, it's just in the air. Oh yes, I set up my new fitness resolution. This is what I want I'm going to do. You've done few research on YouTube and you think you're going to make it. You're going to fail. No. Does this sound mean? Yes, it sounds mean. I'm, I'm about to tell you why you're going to fail and also how to go about setting a fitness goal not a new year resolution. When it comes to the new year, we all have resolutions, but a fitness one, mm, I don't think you should set a fitness new year resolution. And this is the good way to go about it. Instead of waiting till the new year for you to set a new fitness resolution, this is what you do. You need to sit down and write why you want to get fit. If you can fill out a sheet of paper as why you should go to the gym or you should start running or you should get fit, you are ready. You don't need a new year to come and run in order for you to start. You should be willing to commit to this new goal of yours. Remember, I said new goals, not resolution. You should be willing to commit to this new goal of yours, no matter what you are going to be committed. No matter, it doesn't matter if it rains or it snows or it doesn't, you will go to the gym or you will go outside and run or you will go swimming or you will go to um, anything, rock climbing, anything that is fitness. When we talk about fitness, it can be anything, swimming, whatever it is, anything that will keep you sweating, not even sweating, anything that will keep you healthy, okay? We all have different goals. My goal might be different from yours. Okay. We all have different interests when it comes to fitness. So you must be willing to commit to this. If you're willing to commit, then you have a goal. You don't have a fitness resolution in a quote. Stop that because you're not going to keep up with that the bargain of going around and saying you have a new year fitness resolution. It is a bargain and you know you're not going to keep that up. That's why most of the time gyms are like full, they're super full in January. And then by February, March, there's nobody in the gym. It's due to uh, the, the lack of commitment, the failure of those who have set up a big New Year fitness resolution. And I call a big New Year fitness resolution. Forget about it. Set up a goal, a goal that no one would deter you from, a goal that not even the, the rain will stop you from, okay? And I know within you that you can do it, but don't go about it the wrong way. 
because if you go about it the wrong way you won't be able to keep up you're going to burn out there's something called like a, a fitness burn out you're going to burn out and you won't be able to keep up with that and i'm here to let you know that about those there's a good way to go about it and that is a goal a goal that you will start with baby steps you don't need to go to the gym or you don't need to run 10 miles after setting up your goal you need to take baby steps build your stamina and you're going to get there build a stamina and you will get there you will reach at a point where you will be unstoppable nobody will stop you not even the rain set up a goal not a fitness resolution i believe in you and i know you will succeed with the goal not a fitness resolution please do yourself a favor and put the like button <laughs> bye